All right, thank you very much, Jen. It was a lecture they will never forget. A convicted drunk driver opens up to Sage College students about a deadly decision he made when he was in college. Jennifer Mullen was there. She joins us live from the studio now with this story. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Greg. Yeah, Russell Sage College administrators tell me spring break is right around the corner, and they want their students to make smart and safe decisions, which is another reason they invited Aaron Cooksey to their campus. They felt his story would be something to learn from, something to not only remember, but consider before students put themselves in bad situations. Here to share a story with you is Aaron Cooksey. If you were to describe Aaron Cooksey back in college, it would be dedicated. If you were to describe him now, rededicated. For about eight years, Cooksey has traveled the country sharing his story, trying to make a difference and change the way college students feel about drinking, drugs, and driving under the influence. Cooksey talks about being a stellar student athlete up until he went to college and suffered two knee injuries. He tells the audience it was free time that made drinking more appealing, which then turned addicting. And on July 29, 2001, he paid for those actions. How right. highly did you think of your best friend? She was the person that could come into a room and instantly bring energy to a room, light it up. Cooksey was driving to a friend's house with his best friend, Andrea. He had a few drinks and was driving about 30 miles over the speed limit. Made the turn, I started to accelerate. 25, 35, 40, 40, 50. And Andrea was talking to me. If you asked me if this name was she was saying, I couldn't tell you, I don't remember. I know that she said something funny, or something I perceived to be funny. I took my eyes off the road, acknowledged her little joke, picked up speed the whole time. When he looked back at the road, a car in front of him was at a complete stop, ready to make a turn. To avoid hitting that car, Cooksey says he slammed on the brakes and veered right. His truck flipped three times before wrapping around a telephone pole. While Cooksey made it out alive, his best friend Andrea did not, and as a result, he served a four-year prison term, lost his license, and his opportunity to pursue a career as a teacher. Cooksey says he will never forget his sentencing, which was also the last time he saw Andrea's family. I'll never forget the look in the man's eyes, and it was a look that I'd never, ever forget, and it was a look that I can't even describe to people, but like I tell them, I can't describe it to you. But you do not want to be on the end that causes it. You don't want to be the reason that somebody has that much hurt and pain in their eyes. Cooksey says he will never forgive himself, nor will Andrea's family. In fact, he says Andrea's family wants nothing to do with him, but they support what he does for a living. There's never a day that goes by where I don't think about it, where I don't think about the ramifications of what I did. And if it hadn't happened, how far along would she be now in life and, and where would her life be? So. It'll never be the same. I mean, there's a, and it's not because I don't have a license. It's not because certain jobs I can't get. It's because waking up every day knowing that my actions took another human being off this earth. And it's those words that hit home with students. I came out with tears, and I think it was such a powerful speech, and it really makes me flash back on my decisions. It was pretty hard to listen to because I know I've made, like, poor decisions myself. And I um, kind of wish I didn't make those decisions now that I think about, like, my best friend goes here and, like, I've never met more incredible people. Some powerful words that I know will stick with me even after tonight. Live in the studio, Jennifer Mullen, CBS 6 News.